amplify is actually an extracorporeal pump. It's a centrifugal pump, and what we do is we use this pump to predilate the veins. We get access to the blood by placing a line or central catheter in the right atrium, just like a tunnel dialysis catheter, and then it's connected to the pump. Pump circulates the blood. The other end is connected through a cannula into the cephalic system wherever we can find it most distally in the forearm. So now the blood is circulating extracorporeally and going into the cephalic vein from the right heart. And we adjust the pump. Everything is automated and we actually can collect the data on the cloud. So we can monitor it remotely and we can actually monitor the flow rate to deliver the exact amount of shear stress to the wall of the vessels, thereby letting the vessels get the optimum shear stress to dilate. So we run the pump. We initially thought it probably will take about 10 to 14 days, but what we are seeing is even as early as seven, eight days, I think we are able to get rid of the pump and use the vessel for doing the anastomosis. Many times when we create a fistula, you have no idea it's going to grow or not grow, or it's going to work or not work. But if you have an Amplify system pretreatment, it tells us up front if the vein is growing to grow or not. And what we have also seen is that by letting the blood flow through the vein before creating an access, it not only grows, but if it has some pre-existing problems, there are other veins or what we call as collaterals or the flow going into some other vein which is suitable enough for fistula creation gets bigger. So by doing a pretreatment, you kind of upfront know that vein is going to work for you and you can utilize the vein which is going to work to make an access. So I would see that the chances of access failure pretty much will go away. The first in human study was actually done in Paraguay, in uh, Ascension, and Dr. Ebner was the surgeon who did that. We actually used the system to pretreat five patients, and all five of them landed up getting a fistula which functioned. That was the whole idea, and uh, we treated the cephalic veins in the forearm, but three of them started get landed up getting fistulas in the upper arm. Again, we realized that by treating it, we know if there's a pre-existing problem. Those three patients had some pre-existing problems at their elbow level, and we felt that though their forearm veins dilated, we thought they're better off having an upper arm fistula because of these pre-existing problems, which was identified by pre-treatment with the Amplify. I would think there is no downside for using this device in all patients. The reason for that is very simple. I think what's going to happen is there will be an initial resistance to, for the acceptance of the device, you know, like people feeling that, why should you use it when I know this access is going to work? We know there's a certain amount of access failure rate, and if you're going to take this failure rate out of the system, then I don't see a downside in using this device. It's all, it's all plus plus because you know the vein dilates and if the dilated vein is used for access creation, it will be available for use early rather than doing an access up front and week, two weeks down the road realizing it's not going to work. Next steps are going to be getting it through the regulatory and we intend to do it first in the US and uh, we have already finished five First in men trials, we might need a few more. We are plan on, planning on doing that. And once that is done, we probably might get some sort of an expedited pathway to get it through the clinical trials in the US. We actually expect that the clinical trial probably will start as early as next year.